Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today I'm here with my very special guest. You love her? I love her. It's Phoebe. Hey, I, I am a big girl. You're a big girl? Give me some skin, I like that. All right, why are you a big girl? Because I am going to be a big sister for my baby. You are going to be a big sister, all right. And how long is it till the, the baby's all cooked? Yeah. What happened? What's this? What is it? <gasps> okay, today we are making something called, I think it's Nanaimo bars, and they are from Canada. I'm asking you to send me in recipe requests from all over the world. We're starting to get through them. This came through from Tora on YouTube. Say hi, Tora. Why are you being so shy? Hello. Sorry about that, she is saying hello. So we're gonna make these and they're basically three layered naughty chocolate treats. Um, the first layer is gonna be a little bit of adultness involved but we can get Phoebe to help me with the saucepan. So we're gonna get straight into it. Got a saucepan here and here is some sugar. Can you pour that into my uh, saucepan please? Yeah. Amazing. And then we'll swap. We have that cocoa powder. Let me see if you can pour that in there. Oh, check that out. Love it. Okay, so we've got cocoa powder, sugar in there, and now some butter, which is softened to room temperature, but we're gonna melt this all together. And obviously, that's it, just dump it in there, and I'm gonna heat that, stir it all together, so it makes a really funky mixture. Now, while I'm doing that, I need to keep my kit busy. So, there's a couple of things I can do. I've got some sponge fingers here, which we're gonna add in a bit, which need to be broken down, so she can bash those. And I'm also gonna give her some kitchen foil, because we're gonna line our tray with the foil. So, uh, I'm gonna get on and heat that mixture. Let's have a look at that. Are you happy about it? What does it look like? Mm. Looks like that, does it? Amazing. I'm gonna get on and heat that and uh, we'll give us some activities to do. Okay, so you see in the background, Phoebe is bashing away those sponge fingers. It's gonna take her a while because she's using a kid's one. It's plastic, it needs to be a butch one. But she's gonna keep doing that, which means I can put this down here on a saucepan. So let's heat it together and move on. Okay guys, so this butter is starting to melt, the sugar, the cocoa powder and the butter is all coming together. I'm just going to leave that for one minute. How are you getting on mate? You enjoying that? Alright, right. So she's bashing these down. We've got this little rolling pin here, so we want to really whack them. So keep going mate, you need some more. Which gives me a little bit more time to do the adult stuff. Okay, brilliant. That mixture is all stirred together now. I'm going to take it straight off the heat and we're going to pour in one beaten egg. Don't do it on the heat, otherwise the egg will curdle and you might end up with scrambled egg. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay, so just taking this off the heat, I'm leaving the saucepan there on this flat surface and here is my egg. Now you can either grab a whisk now and just pour it in or I'm just going to use the wooden spoon. So remember, this is off the heat, okay? So it's still got the warmth from the saucepan in there. We're just going to stir this through. Can you see that? Just stir that through. About two minutes so it's all thoroughly blended in. Don't over stir it, we don't want it to curdle. Okay then guys, that egg is all stirred through and it's in there. All I'm gonna do, I've got this massive bowl here. It has cooled down enough so I'm happy to put it in the vicinity of the little girl, aka Phoebe. Let's get that in there. Okay, so that's all spooned in there. Now, what we're gonna do is grab our other ingredients. So, we've got some almonds here. Do you wanna pour those in? Oh wow, that is a big bowl. It's very unlikely she's gonna miss. Amazing. Now, coconut. In that goes. Lovely jubbly. Happy? Give me some skin. All right, so these are the sponge fingers that Phoebe smashed up. I'm just gonna make a little hole in so she can pour them in. Ready? Pour that bag in. Yeah. Hold it. You got it? Oh, it's still a few big ones, but it's all good. It's all good. All right, let's get in everywhere. Beautiful. So they are all in there. Now you might notice you've got a few big lumps of sponge fingers there, like that one there. You can eat them. Or you can break them down some more. You can eat them. Mm. Now in America and Canada, I think you can um, get graham crackers, which are the main ingredients for this. But in England, it's really hard, so we're substituting it with sponge fingers. So, you need to just give this a blooming good stir around now, mate. Okay, you ready? Stir it. Let me see it. Wow, okay. Maybe a little less than that. Can you do that? I got you a big bowl on purpose so you wouldn't do that. I'm really offended now. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Phoebe is just finishing stirring that off and I forgot to ask her to put tin foil in our dish of choice. So I'm gonna do that while she keeps stirring it. Phoebes, do you wanna have a little taste of it? See what it's like? Tell everyone what you think it tastes like. 
Whoa, 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 not that much. Come on now. You've got apps like, like your daddy. I'm putting the tin foil in, just off shot. Have a little bit. Okay, that is a big bit still. Just, to, I was only after a little bit. Mm. Oh, do you like it? High five for that. All right, the bowl nearly fell over too. <laughs> Okay, so I put the tin foil on the dish. Not the best, but it does look like a spaceship, so it's all good. So, Phoebes, can you spoon the mixture? <laughs> spoon the mixture into there. Ready? I'll hold the bowl. Get it all in. This is going to be our base, folks. Wow, look at that. It's just falling in. And you just want to spread it around with the back of the spoon and get it all nice and flat. Get it all even. You don't want it to be like a hill. You don't want it all sloped like that. Can you see that? <laughs> yeah. Good work, dude. Get it all in there. I don't want to see any in your mouth. I don't want to see any leftovers. Right. Now pat it down with the back of your spoon, please. Spread it out, yeah? Like you're making a sandcastle. Phoebes, you got crumbs in your face. <laughs> right, okay. So I've given her this funky spatula and she's just smoothing it out like that. Look, it looks amazing. You can be a floor layer one day. So what we're gonna do is get the second layer ready now. We can leave that to do its thing. It's pretty much set as it is. You can put it in the fridge if you want, but we're gonna put it together with a second layer which involves cream and custard. Mmm. Yes, custard. It's in the cupboard. It is in the cupboard. Amazing. Okay then guys, we are ready for level two. Okay, can you do a two? Two. Two, amazing. And you need this. This is a? Whisk. A whisk, amazing. Sometimes she says whisker, like it's a cat. This, do not ever get confused this for a cat, okay? Although it does like milk and cream and stuff like that. It is not a cat. Is this a cat? What are you doing to the bowl? Right, okay, we have got here, custard powder. Butter at room temperature, some double cream, aka heavy cream, which she was just about to knock over, and some icing sugar, which is also known as confectioner sugar. I'm going to leave that towards the end. So, first of all, Phoebes, let's get in your custard powder. This is going to make a funky layer. Now you're going to pour in the double cream. Can you pour it in? I can smell the cream. You can smell the cream? Oh, yeah, baby. Check that out. So there's a little bit left in there. Why don't we use our spatula that we had before and just wipe that in like that. Make sure we get all that creamy goodness in. That is a huge bowl, isn't it, really? But I've just got it because I don't want you to spin it over you, do I? <laughs> right, room temperature butter. Just uh, pick it up, drop it in before it melts in your hand. Oh, no! Right, guys, you need to see this. You have just, look what you have done. I'm gonna make you feel guilty now. Look what you have done. Cream everywhere. Cream, cream. <gasps> you got it on there, that's okay. And on the floor, we're in trouble. Okay, we need to whisk that together now, by the way. Good job that butter's at room temperature, otherwise you're gonna be there for a while. Now you need to whip it all together. It's gonna to look a lot of elbow grease, or you could just get an electric whisk. I'm gonna use child labor. Okay, that has been just over 10 minutes, and to be honest, I did help Phoebe. The butter could have done with a little bit softer, so uh, bear that in mind if you're doing this. Um, there we go. Do you want to have a little taste and tell me what it's like? It's all nice and light and fluffy and moist and... Mm. Oh my goodness. Tell me what that tastes like. Um, perfume. Perfume. Brilliant. Okay, so you have got here, Phoebes, your icing sugar. Let's get your whisk to one side. Uh, amazing. Can you pour that in for me? And then we'll give you the spatula to... Wow. Check out that. Is it snowing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, cool. Grab the spatula and stir it in, okay? I'm just going to get that off the whisk. Stir it all through. Nice and gently, mate. We don't want to coat the table any more than we have. Made a bit of a mess today. A bit of a mess. Okay, so you can see as she's stirring it and also eating it, it's actually starting to thicken. The sugar is bonding in with that mixture and we're ready to spread it on there with our little bit of cream we've still got there. And then we're going to set it in the fridge. And all we've got to do then is pour melted chocolate on it and eat it. If there's any left. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's put this to one side. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, cool. There we go. There is our first layer. I'm going to hold that and I want you to spoon it down, okay? Oh, we've still got a little bit of icing sugar on the side, that doesn't matter. Spoon it in. It's quite a tough mixture, but it's going to be worth it. That's it, mate. Keep going. Okay, so as you can see, we've had to take the bowl away from Phoebe because she was going to eat all of it, and she's now just spreading it around. It's all good. 
Okay, Phoebe is just finishing smoothing it out. What you'll probably find is it will find its way anyway, and we are ready to put that in the fridge now, and we're just gonna melt some chocolate to get it on the top. Sounds good. She's trying to say what I say at the end. In fact, I'm gonna let you try and do it this week. Yeah? Yeah. Okay then guys, here it is. I'm just gonna plonk it on the shelf just around about there. So I'm gonna give it about 20 minutes to set, and in the meantime we can melt a chocolate, and let's tell you a little quick story about Phoebe and her preschool. Whoa! Okay guys, we're about to melt the chocolate any minute now, but Phoebe has started preschool and they did this little cooking thing the other day at school that I heard about from a teacher and unfortunately, they were gonna make coconuts, right? Well, coconut cupcakes. No, just coconuts. Okay, just, just coconuts. And basically, the teacher said, come on guys, we're all gonna make coconut cupcakes. And Phoebe was like, miss, I wanna make roast dinner. Because, thanks to my virgin kitchen, she has already made cupcakes loads of times, all different stuff. She is an advanced chef right now. You are well ahead of your peers, aren't you? High five for that. Anyhow, I thought I'd share that story of Phoebe's cooking adventures outside of the camera. And uh, we'll just melt some chocolate now. Yeah. Mm. What did you just do? That is butter, you don't eat that. No, but seriously, please don't eat any more. That's, mm. <laughs> what are you doing? Mm. Well, I'm gonna do this step, right. That is a slither of butter. That we're just gonna put in a bowl. Now break up that chocolate. You just ate butter. Are you okay? Do you have mental problems? That's a yes. So just break up your chocolate. Come on. Put some back, backbone into it, my friend. Plonk it in your bowl when it's all nice and broke. Looks like she's gonna have some time building that. It's gonna be fun, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just like, yeah, just chuck that in. <laughs> Come on, break it. <laughs> okay. All that chocolate's in there, I'm gonna break it up into little blocks like I have there. You did your best there, mate, fair play. That's okay, I'll just break it up a little bit. I'm just gonna melt this in the microwave. The second layer is all nice and set now. I'm gonna melt it in the microwave, pour it on the top, set it again, and then we are gonna eat them. Melt and make it warm. <sighs> okay, so in goes our chocolate. I'm gonna do it in 30 second glass in our microwave. 30 seconds on and off, don't do it like full on for like two minutes, otherwise you will scorch the chocolate and you will hate yourself. And I hate you too. And she'll hate you as well. She won't hate you. Okay, so our chocolate is all nice and melted. I'm gonna do this because it's still a little bit warm, but I have let Phoebe just have a spoonful. Let's just get that all on top of this mixture. Don't want it to be piping hot, otherwise it could seep straight through this second layer. We don't want that, we want to keep them all apart. To get it all on there, I've got a nice thin layer of chocolate, but obviously if you want to add more chocolate on there, it's just going to give it a thicker layer, so uh, let's get it on there. Okay, so i finished putting the chocolate on there. I've done it actually nice and rough. You could smooth it out with a spatula, but I've done it nice and rough so that when it resets, hopefully it'll have some nice funky ridges on it. It might, it might not, I don't know. Uh... <laughs> what do you look like? Uh, okay. That's several explanatory, and they're going back in the fridge, and then we're going to eat them. Okay then guys, it's been nearly an hour in the fridge setting. Look, can you hear that? It's rock hard. I've put Phoebe away from it just while I get the knife out and cut it all up. So I'm gonna actually lift it out with the tin foil still on it to hold it up, pull the foil away and cut it up into squares. So uh, let's do that. Okay, let's just lift this out. Wow, that came out quite easy. Put this to one side and then we just put it up there. Let's start to pull the sides down. Okay, so I've taken the foil off. I actually managed to lift it because it's set so well and I pulled the bottom of it out as well. So I'm just going to trim it in little squares. Yeah. Okay, so all I've been doing is getting my knife like so and just cutting it down there. It does help, actually, if your knife is a teeny bit warm. Obviously, the more you cut it, it probably warm up anyway, just through natural friction. So let's just cut that through like that. All good. So I could have massive bars like that, long strips, or I can cut them into little squares. And that is, as I've said a couple of times now, what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to cut along there. Wicked. Right, so I've cut them up into squares. Check that out, that whole chocolate ripple effect is there. Amazing. So I'm ready to eat one. Are you ready to eat one, little girl? I'll eat that one. Well, you go for it, you take it. I'm loving that like three layered pattern on there. Go for it, on your princess plate. I'm just gonna pick one up right here, like this. You go for it. One, two. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that nice? Oh my goodness. These are really, really good. And we've got a lot left over. Check that out. Wow. So, what have I got to say, Phoebe? Um, if I can make that. I will come. I'm so. I'm bye. 
She just said, if I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let us know how you get on, and we'll see you again next time. Yeah.